Fire Emblem. Engage. Almost time. We can handle this. Final battle lies ahead. Now, it's time to engage. Let's go. One last battle and the war will be over. The others fought hard to clear a path for us. We can't let them down. You're here at your end. This place will be your tomb. In. I'll remain by your side. I've got this. You have no hope of defeating me, not even with your emblem. He's within reach now. We can strike! Ever your destiny. The rings are mine. It's time. 
time. Engage! Stay strong. The time has come. Now, as one. Emblem, engage! We are now connected, and can unleash a powerful attack, together! Fate has brought us here! to celebrate. You are weakness itself. You will never defeat me. Thanks to you, this world is saved. And my work here is complete. Know that I will always be with you and that we will stand together again, as we did this day. If ever we cross paths again, I hope you will remember me. Indeed, that you will remember all of us who took up arms to fight by your side. The Twelve Emblems. Where am I? Huh? Whoa. Tell me you're seeing this. <sighs> Hello there. And you are? You're awake! Huh? You're really awake, yeah? You're the Divine Dragon! <sighs> no way! <sighs> no way! <laughs> the, the Divine Dragon, Dragon is finally awake! <laughs> hey, hold on. Calm down, calm down, you two! What's all of this ruckus about? Uh. Divine Dragon. It's a miracle. An utter miracle. The Divine One, awake at long last. That I might live to see you standing before me. What an honor. Um, not to be rude, but... Who are you? Ah, apologies. I lost myself for a moment there. My name is Vander. I am the 32nd steward of the dragon. Hello, Sir Vander. Oh, my divine one! There is no need to address me as such. Simply Vander will do. See? I told you the divine dragon was awake! Yeah, we were telling the truth! You two. I don't believe I got your names. Oh, sorry. We were so excited, we forgot to introduce ourselves. We're the 33rd Stewards of the Dragon. My name's Clan. Pleased to meet you. And I'm Fram. We're twins. 
We've been waiting forever for you to wake up! As stewards of the dragon, our mission is to protect and provide for you. Generation after generation of our predecessors waited for you to rise from your slumber. I'll admit, I am astonished to see it has finally happened. You see, a thousand years have passed since the first steward took their post. A thousand years? That's how long I've been asleep? Indeed. Your mother, Lumera, the Divine Dragon Monarch, has long awaited this day. Finally, you, a Divine Dragon yourself, have awakened. This surely signifies great things. Slow down. This monarch you mentioned, she's my mother? And I'm a Divine Dragon, you called it? Oh, dear. Is your memory hazy, Divine One? I know my name, but that's about it. You can't remember anything else? Maybe you're just feeling groggy because of all that sleep. But I don't even know who I am. Fret not. Such lapses in memory are to be expected after sleeping for so long. If I may, you are a divine dragon. A member of a royal family of dragons revered as deities. Queen Lumera, the divine dragon monarch, rules over the holy land of Lethos. In the war a thousand years ago, she defeated and imprisoned the wicked fell dragon. You, Divine One, are her only child. The war? The fell dragon? I feel like I can almost remember, but... Please, do not trouble yourself trying to bring it all back at once. Your memories will return in time. You are a being of immense power. A deity, no less. I have heard many a tale of your kindness, nobility, and bravery. Your unflinching heroism. That's a lot to live up to. For now, let us head to Lethos Castle. Queen Lumera will be thrilled to see you. Perhaps the reunion will help stir your memories. I hope so. Okay then, onward and downward. To Lethos Castle! All this time, I've been sleeping in the sky? You have, yes. The place where you slumbered is known as the Somnia, a fortress built upon an airborne island to ensure your safety. It is perhaps the most secure place in all of Elios. Only a select few can set foot there. I see. And you three live there with me? Yep. As stewards, we spend our time caring for you, and managing things around the Somnio. It's a sacred place, so we work as hard as we can to keep it shipshape. Royal family members visit us all the time. Well, visit you, really. The Prince and Princess of Firene, a deeply religious country, visit especially often. They pray next to you, like this. Then they just talk for a while, like they're chatting to a friend. I see. Thanks for filling me in, Fram. You too, clan. <laughs> the Divine One said our names! And thanked us! I think I'm going to faint! Unless I already did. Am I dreaming? Need I remind you that you are in the presence of the Divine Dragon? How many times must I tell you to behave in a manner befitting your station? Divine One, please, forgive this embarrassing breach of decorum. Breach of decorum? <laughs> I'm actually enjoying their enthusiasm. <laughs> You're just as kind-hearted as I always imagined! Oh, look! There it is! Lethos Castle. The... Divine Dragon Monarch is there, you said? Yes. I suppose a thousand years have passed since you've been home. We'll be right there with you. You can hold my hand if you like. Thank you. Hmm? How long have I been wearing this ring? Since before I fell asleep? That blue stone. It reminds me of something. Huh? <laughs> Vander, 
Are creatures like that common around here? They're not. I've never seen them. Nor have I heard of such monsters appearing in Lethos before. This is a land of peace. Understood. Well? Shall we fight them? As you wish, Divine One. You whose bravery knows no equal. No, let's run. Huh? We haven't the slightest idea who they are, and we don't know how they came to be here. Also, they worry me for some reason. So, we run! I, uh, well, did the Divine Dragon really command me to retreat? Okay, get to safety! We'll keep them distracted for you! <laughs> what the? Come back! Come back this instant! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Oh, this isn't looking good! Clan! Fram! Hold on! We shall come to you! Vander! Divine One, stay back. It's too dangerous. Clan and Fram were trying to protect me. I have to help them. I take back what I said. This is no time to run. Please, let me fight. All right, but stay on your guard. I will. What are these creatures doing in Lethos? We had best use the foliage to take cover. Here goes. Is up. Fram, are you all right? Plan, Fram, it's not safe for you here. Retreat to the castle. These enemies are formidable indeed. Divine One, please use a vulnerary if you are wounded. I got 
gotta protect Fram. You rotten monsters don't scare me. <laughs> oh! More enemies. They just keep coming. You're all trying to protect me. I should be protecting you. If only I could. Somehow. Huh? You must remember. Who... who said that? Know that my strength can be yours. I know that voice. If ever we cross paths again, I hope you will remember me. Indeed, that you will remember all of us who took up arms to fight by your side. The Twelve Emblems. Divine One? <laughs> Divine One! You mustn't do this alone! Don't worry! Please! I'm not alone! Help me. Lend me your strength in this fight. <laughs> Shine on! Emblem of beginnings! I am known as Marth. Emblem Marth, to be clear. We might just make it. Will you join us? Of course. I will fight alongside you from here forward. Your ally until the very end. My 
prayers are with you. I live to fight again. I cannot afford to lose. I live to fight again. Divine One! Vander! Thanks for saving us. Yeah. And, uh... Sorry. This all happened because we ran ahead. I'm the one who should apologize. You put yourselves in danger trying to protect me. <laughs> it's such a relief you're both safe now. Divine One, I hear more enemies approaching. More? I thought we'd gotten them all. Evidently not. These creatures, will there be no end to them? There's more? And they've got a dragon? Is it really you? Yes, it's me. Thank you for saving us. What a joy it is to see you. Huh? I've waited for so long. Oh. When I sensed you had awoken, I flew here as fast as my wings would carry me. I hope you're not hurt. I'm... I'm fine. What a relief. You cannot understand how I've missed you, my dear child. Oh, you're my mother. What's the matter? Don't tell me. Since awakening, the Divine One's memory is clouded. <sighs> I see. I'm sorry. I'm sure you weren't expecting this. No, I must apologize. I was so overcome with joy. I hugged you as hard as I could. I take this to mean you've forgotten... everything. I suppose it's to be expected. A thousand years is a very long time. Vander explained that I've been sleeping since... since some war that happened back then? Yes. You suffered a terrible wound. And... and because of that... A wound? I don't remember that. Or this world, or anything. Don't fret, young one. I will speak to you of all you've forgotten. Regardless of what you remember, 
I'm simply glad to have you back, my dear child. Still, this isn't the reunion you hoped for. Oh, don't worry about me. It's solace enough just to hear that sweet voice of yours, and to gaze once more into your eyes. What lovely colors they are. Engage. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing! So great! Let's head to the castle. Climb on my back. We live on the continent of Elios, four realms surrounding a holy land at its center. Firinae, kingdom of abundance. Brodia, kingdom of might. Elusia, Kingdom of Knowledge. Solm, Queendom of Freedom. The Land of Lethos, Home of Divine Dragons. And Gradlon, Domain of the Fell Dragon, Fallen to Ruin. A thousand years ago, our lands endured a vicious war with the Fell Dragon. We called upon heroes from other worlds to aid us, heroes known as Emblems. With them, the warriors of our nations fought as one. In the end, we were victorious in defeating and imprisoning the Fell Dragon. In the years since, our world has been safe. But now, I sense a resurrection. The binding weakens. If his shadow stretches across the land again, then we must fight him anew, as we did in ages past. Fell Dragon, Sombron, must be stopped. Here we are. We are safe within these walls. So this is Lethos Castle. It's beautiful. I'm glad you think so. Though you may not remember this place, I've long waited to welcome you back here. Welcome home. <sighs> I'm home? Yes, you are. <sighs> I feel overwhelmed with joy. I may cry. Queen Lumera. Vander. Clan. Frem. Thank you for all you've done. You are worthy stewards indeed. You and your predecessors. Watching over my child all these years. I am ever so grateful. You are too kind. Yeah, it's awful nice of you to say that. I'm starting to feel woozy. Oh yeah, go us! We just got praised by Queen Lumera herself! 
The happiness of this moment aside, I am troubled to see the Corrupted here in Lethos. The Corrupted? Those enemies you were fighting out on the grasslands. Oh, I didn't like those things one bit. Just the sight of them made my blood run cold. Understandably so. The Corrupted are corpses revived by an evil power. The Fell Dragon used them as his soldiers in the war. Before the start of that bitter conflict, Elios had known peace for eons. But then, a dark presence emerged. Sombron. Despite tireless searching, we could not determine where he'd come from. But seeing the destruction he wrought, there was no doubt of his evil intentions. Now the Corrupted are spreading once more. This may be a sign of his return. No. I wonder if it is mere coincidence that you awakened as all this unfolds. If the Fell Dragon has been released, then we must prepare for battle. I can't imagine fighting someone like that. Worry not. I doubt he will attack anytime soon. This castle is filled with the spirits of divine dragons. The corrupted cannot enter it easily. Let us devise a plan now, while we have the opportunity. Emblem Marth. It's been quite some time, Lumera. That it has. Thank you for lending your aid against the corrupted. You're welcome. But of course, I could help only because your child remembered me. You know, it is possible the others are awake now, just as I am. Perhaps you are right. Sorry, but what do you mean? Who's awake? There is something I should show you. Follow me. What is this place? This is the Ring Vault. It is where the Emblem Rings are enshrined. Those of the Holy Knight, of the Sage Lord, and of the Azure Twins rest here, as well as the Ring of the Princess Exalt, and finally, the Ring of the Instructor. Each dwells within an Emblem Ring, as Marth resides in the Ring of the Hero King. So, counting Marth, there are six Emblem Rings. Wow. In fact, there are twelve. Six here, and six entrusted to the other countries. As a precautionary measure. What do you mean? The emblems grant world-altering power to whoever has all twelve rings. For generations, the Divine Dragons used this power to ensure peace and prosperity in Elios. Indeed, that was how we locked away the Fell Dragon. But many have sought to steal the rings and use them for their own nefarious purposes. Which is why they're scattered all over the continent, not just stored here. Precisely. The rings offer their power but once every thousand years, at which time the Divine Dragon travels across Elios to collect them from each nation's ruler. With a thousand years having passed since last time, I was planning to carry out this ritual soon. But if the Fell Dragon is after the rings, the emblems may be summoned before I arrive. Summoned? It is how one calls for an emblem from a ring, just as you did earlier with Marth. Only those with royal dragon blood are capable of summoning. That includes you, my child. Oh, you must be talking about the phrase that popped into my head. An invocation, you mean. What was it? Shine on, emblem of beginnings. I wasn't even thinking about it. The words just fell from my mouth. That was how you summoned Marth. <sighs> what was your focus, your intention, when you spoke those words? I wanted to help Clan and Fram. I didn't want to lose them. I wanted to protect them. Your focus was on helping others. Remember that intention whenever you summon emblems, not to keep the power for yourself. Understand? To borrow so you may protect others. I understand. Now, why don't we try a practice battle? You must be a little rusty after all these years. How about we train here? You will be the one fighting. The emblem lends you their strength. You need to train your body and mind to unleash an emblem's full power. Vander, clan, 
Krem. You will be aiding my child in this battle. Against me. Queen Lumera, even in a practice battle, I could not turn my weapon on you. Oh, Vander. Please do put your heart into it. I know I will. The Corrupted? No, dear. Not at all. How could you think so? I made these opponents from plants and rocks. Nevertheless, their abilities are the same. Drop your guard and you could be hurt. They're really unsettling. Can we train with something else? They give me the chills. Listen, you must push through your fear and face whatever opponent stands against you. Never run away. You are my child, the protector of all. The Divine Dragon. I understand. Don't worry, Divine One. We'll back you up every step of the way. Yeah! What Fram said. As loath as I am to battle against Queen Lumera, orders are orders. I pledge to bring us victory. Thank you, everyone. Now, let's begin. Be cautious, Divine One. Some of these enemies are carrying long-range weapons. Therefore, they can rain arrows upon us from afar. See this enemy with the axe. Axe wielders are at a disadvantage against swords. Swords are strong against axes. Axes against lances. And then lances against swords. If you outmatch your foe, you can break their fighting stance for an advantage in combat. Try it. Strike with your sword. After their stance is broken, they'll be open to further attack. Well done. You see? Swords are strong against axes. Always keep such weapon advantages in mind. Enemies can't counterattack while recovering their stance. A good time to finish them off. Anything.
Hey, Divine One! I don't know if you knew this or not, but I can use magic. I'm good from near or far, even against well-protected enemies. I can fight. I'm here, Divine One. It's time I enter the fray. There is no need to hold back, my child. All right. attack you. Oh, I feel busy. Sharpen your focus, clan. Lest you miss. Yeah. Yeah. Forgive me for standing against you. Vander, you are my child's knight. You must fill that role as best you can. Attack me with all your might. I'm so sorry. Fantastic work. You fought together splendidly. Let's move on. Wait over there a moment. All right. If everyone is in position, we'll begin. This time, I will be more hands-on. I intend to fight as if in an actual battle. Furthermore, I'll be using this. Is that the Ring of the Holy Knight? Indeed it is. I'm inviting an old friend to join us. I am Sigurd. If you require strength and swiftness, I am all too happy to oblige. Emblem Sigurd. He looks like a strong opponent. Each emblem has their own abilities. When allied with them, you can call upon their unique powers and skills. Whatever Sigurd's power is, it won't be the same as Marth's. We'd better keep our eyes open. My rapier is effective against cavalry, like those enemies over there. Once we engage, you can use my weapon. Try it against that foe.
me, right? The strength of the stewards! The Divine Dragon. Your teamwork is inspiring. Now it's time for us to make our move. Come, Sigurd. Incredible. Lord Sigurd is remarkably swift. Perhaps we should be grateful this is a mock battle. I still stand.
This is certainly more of a challenge. Your enemies will not hold back, and neither will I. That is why you must defeat me. What a delight it is to see you in battle after all these years. together so well. Well fought, everyone. You bested Sigurd and me. That's quite the feat. There is much to improve upon, but this is a wonderful start. Great work. Thank you. I can't believe we had to fight against Queen Lumera. Yeah, well, I can't believe we won! Though you have only just awoken, your power seems to be growing already, Divine One. I'd like for you to have this. This is the sword you were using, isn't it? Yes. An ancient blade that can be wielded only by divine dragons. It served me well for many years, but now it is yours. Consider it a prize for your victory today. Thank you. Someday, I'll prove that I'm worthy of this sword. I have no doubt. Please, take this as well. Is this another emblem ring? No. It is purely ornamental. You see, before your slumber, I made you a promise. What was it? I said I'd give you a birthday present that suited you perfectly. I was working on it in private, but I was unable to finish it in time. That birthday has long since passed, but I would quite like to give you this gift now. I'm sorry. I can't accept. Why not? That ring fulfills a promise you made me, right? But I don't remember that promise. It'd feel wrong accepting it. Like I was taking a present meant for someone else. Please offer me this gift again once I've remembered everything. Everything, you say? <sighs> Did facing me in battle stir any recollections? It didn't. I'm sorry. You need not apologize. It doesn't matter what you can remember right now. I only hope that one day, you will think of me as your mother, as you did a thousand years ago. <sighs> Forgive me. I was so thrilled to spend time with you again. I suppose I got a little carried away, didn't I? Oh, no. It's all right. <laughs> I don't mean to put you on the spot. Perhaps we should call it a day, hmm? But let's agree to chat again in the morning. What do you say? Pinky promise? <laughs> All right. Spectacular as ever. Um...
Please rest easy for today. Oh, how wonderful to see my child awake at last. Now we'll never have to be apart. There is so much to catch up on, so much to see and do together. We can chat for hours, take long walks, share meals, and then... Mm. If my child's memories are truly lost, I wonder... <sighs> Emblem Sigurd. I am here. There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Today certainly was eventful. Queen Lumera seems so kind and caring. I'm sure she was a wonderful mother. If only I could remember those days. I must have felt so lucky to be her child. Why are you here alone? <laughs> what was that? Was that... Me? Are you all right? It looked as though you were having a bad dream. I was. But yes, I'm all right. Were you here this whole time? You were wearing my ring when you went to bed. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to take it off. That's all right. Keep it on. Then if something happens, I will be able to help. Besides, after a millennium together, I would feel uncomfortable if we were separated now. Marth. What was I like? Hmm... You knew me back then. You must be able to tell me something. Well... You were kind, as you are now. There's no need to remember everything at once. Take your time. Ease back into your memories. Lumera advised that too, didn't she? Yes, she did. Sorry. I don't mean to be impatient. It's all right. What was that? I'm not sure. An enemy raid? We had best take a look. I'm worried about Lumera and the others. Agreed. Vander! Clan! Fram! Oh, Divine One. Thank goodness you're safe. What's happening? Tell me! Some enemies busted right through the castle walls like paper! And they're like, BAM! They're here! What's worse, they fought their way into the ring vault. If you ask me, they're trying to get their hands on the <sighs> emblem rings. Even as we speak, Queen Lumera is defending the vault. Quickly, we must fly to her aid! Sounds like a plan. Follow me! I'll do my best.
had to stop you. As your steward! For the Divine Dragon! You called? Never make it to the ring vault. Through the store, right? Yes, this is the one. Then let go. I hear voices. Someone's coming. Moment too soon. The Crown Prince Alfred of Firinay is here to help. Let me at him. Prince Alfred of Firinay, you said? Could it be? Are you the Divine Dragon? You finally woke up? I did, yes. That's amazing! You know, I've waited ages for this to happen. There's so much to talk about, later, of course, after we've taken care of these scoundrels. Uh, who are they, anyway? We're not sure. They attacked so suddenly. Well, let's do this quickly. Pin down whoever's in charge and get some answers. Oh, these are my retainers, Etie and Boucheron. From now on, consider us at your disposal. Lead the way, Divine One! Thank you for your help. The Divine Dragon. Forget you. Yeah. I fight another day. What's our move? Uh, 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 
Sorry, Divine One. I didn't have a chance to introduce myself. My name's Boucheron. If I'm near an enemy you're fighting, I can jump in and land another hit on them. Call on me if you need some extra oomph. Find peace. It's an honor to meet you, Divine One. I'm Etie. My arrows are perfect for knocking airborne enemies out of the sky. With these muscles, I'll have those flyers dropping like flies. Like I broke them. What's next? Where to? For the Divine Dragon. Some help?
are you? And what do you want? I am here to fight, not exchange words. <laughs> Tears. Yeah. Thank you. No one reaches the vault. You're not just any soldiers, are you? Looks like we cleared the way. Let's get to the ring vault. Whoever it is you are, the rest of your forces have all been defeated. So surrender now. If you refuse, I will stop you. <laughs> but how? Do I detect a hint of fear? Of course I do. <laughs> Time to die. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> Now, why don't you hand the rings over to me? Leave here at once! Divine dragon powers! They're almost totally wiped out! <sighs> A 
divine dragon, losing their power, it's the same as losing years of their life. The thing is, there's no reason Queen Lumera should be drained like this. It doesn't make any sense. It's simple, my young one. I gave my power unto you. <laughs> but why? All the years you were sleeping, healing, I was transferring my divine dragon powers to you. I hoped it would be enough to bring you back to me someday. But now, it would seem that I am completely spent. <sighs> oh no, this is my fault. I did this. No, my dear. You have to push those thoughts away. There is nothing a mother wouldn't do <laughs> to see life return again to her beloved child. But I... This ring, it belongs to you now. The Ring of the Holy Knight. I had so hoped to give you the ring I made as well. But that's not possible now. Listen to me, child. Those who invaded here, I sense the power of the fell dragon within them. <sighs> you must not allow them to capture any more of the rings. Please, I beg of you, gather together all twelve rings. <sighs> and when your scattered memories return to you, you must fight on with the utmost divinity. I believe in you, my child. I understand. I'll collect the rings. I swear to you. And I'll fight. I'll do whatever you want. But please, don't leave me. <sighs> Mother! Ah, <sighs> oh, young one. How I've longed to hear you call me that. All of those years, I held out hope. My heart is fuller than you could ever know. It can't end like this. You were going to give me that ring once my memories came back. You promised. And there, there are so many things you haven't told me yet. You said that we would talk. I did. There's still so much I wanted to say to you. Being your mother, becoming your mother has brought so much happiness into my life. I know, and I'm happy to be your child. In this moment, here and now, and a thousand years ago, I am. Don't go. Stay with me until I remember again. Please, mother, I need more time. <laughs> oh, my sweet one. Now, let's make a promise, mother and child. We'll make it a pinky promise. I swear to you, I'll be with you always and forever. And the ring, remember. Once you've rested, we will talk. You and I. Mother! No! Please! This simply cannot have happened. Queen Numero. Divine Dragon Queen. She has left us. Mother! Please wake up! You promised you'd stay by my side! You have to! You have to keep your promise! Thank you for helping with my mother's funeral. It was the final service we could provide Queen Lumera as stewards. <laughs> I can't believe she's gone. Come on, Fram. Think how hard this must be on the Divine Dragon. We gotta hold it together. I'm trying, but... <laughs> <sighs>
Umera. I never thought our paths would diverge so soon. Nor I. And to leave a child behind, I did that in death. A bitter memory. I vowed to protect your offspring in your absence, Lumera. If we could grant our power now... Marth, you know that's not possible without the other emblems here. Yes, yes, I know. This is awful. Sorry I couldn't have done... something. No, Prince Alfred. Without you, our losses may have been even greater. Though I must ask, why did you come? Was there something you needed? Our kingdom is in danger. My mother sent me to ask Queen Lumera for help. All over Firene, our people are being attacked by these... these... creatures. Creatures? What kind of creatures? These things are like... people, but... cracked, almost crumbling. The corrupted. Oh, so that's what you call them. Yes, corpses brought back to life. No wonder they wouldn't listen to us. They just keep attacking everything. We sent our knights out to hold them off, but it's a losing battle. My kingdom is being destroyed. Divine One, will you help us? Please, come with me to Firene. Me? What can I do? It was my mother's help you wanted, not mine. Queen Lumera is gone. You're the last Divine Dragon. We need the power of the rings to save Firene. And only you can do that. <sighs> Sorry, I don't mean to press the topic. I'll return to Firene. We'll do what we can. I'm coming with you. You will? I don't want more families to be torn apart. More people to suffer. Even if I'm scared, I have to push through my fear. Now that my mother is gone, it's my duty to step into the role of Divine Dragon. And if each kingdom is protecting rings, I take it Firene has one, correct? That's right. Then I need to go there anyway, to honor my mother's request. She asked me to gather all of the rings and bring peace back to Elios. As the Divine Dragon, I officially accept the Kingdom of Firene's request for aid. That's great to hear! Thank you, Divine One. Happy to help, Prince Alfred. Just Alfred is fine. I've been visiting you at the Somniel since I was a boy. I think of you as an old friend. A very, very old friend. I appreciate that. Actually, I can't remember anything from before I fell asleep. Nothing? This world is new to me. I appreciate having friends who can teach me about it. I'll do my best. Can't say I'll know much compared to Queen Lumera, but I'll try. Thank you, Alfred. Engage! We ought to establish a base of operations before we begin our journey. The Somniel would be uniquely useful. A little out of the way, isn't it? I can't imagine how we'd get everyone there and back. As a Divine Dragon, you can travel there no matter where you are in the world. I can? Indeed. Furthermore, 
One can only enter the Somniel with the Divine Dragon's power. Without Queen Lumera's blessing, even we stewards couldn't have set foot there. That is what makes it a safe haven. Well then, yes. Let's use it as our base. But before we depart, can you give me a moment? Hmm? We'll be gone a while, so I'd like to say goodbye to my mother. Of course. Take as much time as you need. Thank you for watching over me all this time. This journey will be a long one. But don't worry. Vander and the others will be right beside me. I will fulfill my duty as the Divine Dragon. I will find all of the rings, just as you asked. And then, I'll return to you, Mother. I promise. Here we are. Safely returned to the Somniel. I didn't realize how spacious this place was. It is rather quiet, I know. But it will liven up as we gain allies. We may need someone to supply us with equipment as well. Something to consider. Right. Oh, by the way, Divine One, might this be yours? Hmm, a piece of jewelry. I don't recognize it. The crystal looks unusual. Where did you get this? On the ground, in the Ring Vault, after the siege. I thought it might be yours, but apparently I was mistaken. No one has come forward, so it must have belonged to an enemy soldier. I'll dispose of it. Wait, it's familiar somehow, even though I've never seen it. Then please, do take it. Perhaps it will help jog your memory. Thank you, Vander. Once we've rested for a bit, let's set out for Firene. You know... Yes.
Yes! If I may... Here we are, the Kingdom of Firinae. What a beautiful place. Isn't it? And no sign of the Corrupted, so that's good. That was quite a trip. Crossing the sea all the way from Lethos. I hope you're not worn out. I'm fine. Good, good. Listen, I'm sorry for twisting your arm to come with me. Alfred, it's all right. I wanted to come. How about before we arrive at the castle, you tell me more about this kingdom of yours? Happy to! Let's see. Firne is one of the four nations of Elios in the southwest. 
It's ruled by my mother, Queen Ev. We're known as, uh, Land of Plenty. Our people value peace above all else. We haven't seen war for centuries. You must come from a long line of capable leaders. That's kind of you to say. Peace doesn't always come easy. Mother had to hammer out a non-aggression pact with our neighbors. The pact says there won't be war between us, Solm, and Brodia. Right. Solm, the Queendom of Freedom, and Brodia, the Kingdom of Might. You've got it. Solm is an open-minded country. They've always had good relations with Fyrne. But an alliance with Brodia took some doing. Their king's an ambitious man. He's always launching attacks on Elugia to expand his own territory. I take it Elugia isn't in the Alliance. No. Honestly, they're so far away, we don't interact with them too much. We know it's snowy there, with long winters, and that some Elugians worship the Fell Dragon. The Fell Dragon? It's troubling, I know. But people can believe what they believe. Sorry, I didn't bring it up to turn you against Elugia. It's not them I hate. It's the Fell Dragon. Him and the one who killed my mother. Can you tell me more about the emblem ring that was entrusted to Fyrne? Oh, sure. It's the Ring of the Caring Princess. Doesn't look like anything special. Until I met you and Marth, I thought the emblems were legends. I can't wait to tell my sister they exist. She'll really be knocked for a loop. You have a sister? Yeah, the Princess of Fyrne, Saline. She's at the castle with Mother right now. Princess Saline. I look forward to meeting her. Just call her Saline. I'm sure you two will get along great. Here's Flora Milltown. Castle's close now. We'll just cut through here and... <sighs> Something's off. What is it? I think there might be trouble ahead. Oh no. The Corrupted, they're everywhere. I can't stand to see them overrunning this peaceful town. I have to drive them away. Divine One, will you help me? Of course. Danger looms from every side. I fear we will never make it to my brother. Princess Saley, I beg you to make your retreat. We'll handle this. More of the fiends might be on the way. Hurry! Louis! Chloe! You can't possibly expect me to... It is our sworn duty to protect the princess. We will hold the line for you as long as we must. You have to leave. If you should fall here, who warns Prince Alfred of the invasion to come? I concede the point, but I'll return for you both. Please hold out until then. <laughs> Apologies, Chloe. It pains me greatly to separate you from Princess Saline for even a relatively brief amount of time. Might I say, I'm a bit disappointed I didn't get to see you run off with her highness yourself. A knight should never leave his princess's side. The sooner we win, the sooner that will come to pass. What say you, Chloe? Shall we? Yes, let's.
Sailing? What are you doing here? I thought you were with Mother. I was, but Alfred, the Illusion army is marching on the castle. What? Why? I cannot say. Before they arrived, Mother sent me to warn you. But then we were ambushed on our way to Flora Port. Louis and Chloe stayed behind so that I might have a chance to escape. Please, we must hurry back to them. Absolutely. Pardon me, Princess Saline, but do you have the emblem ring? Yes, Mother gave it to me. Why do you... Goodness gracious! The Divine Dragon? You're here! You're awake! I am. May I say, it is truly an honor. The emblem ring is right here. Please, Divine One, it is yours. <sighs> the words... They're coming to me. Care for us! Emblem of Echoes! I am Emblem Celica. I detest violence, but I will always fight to defend the innocent. Thank you for answering my call. So, this is the emblem that was in Firinay's ring. Emblem Celica? How marvelous! Divine One, with your blessing, and hers of course, I would like to fight by Celica's side. I must protect the people of this village, and ensure Louis and Chloe's safety. I entrust this ring to you, Saline. I won't be able to get very far with these archers everywhere. How about this? I take care of the archers and you deal with the magic users. Good idea. While their spells will go right through your armor, I'm resistant to magic. So leave the mages to me. It's not so bad protecting each other, now is it? Indeed. This is a nice change of pace. Look at that house. The gate is wide open. We'd better warn them to lock up so the corrupted don't get in. For the Divine Dragon! Anything. Gotcha. That was a good session. I'm happy to help. Celica, it is an honor. So it was your voice I heard on the way from the castle. I am glad you're here with me. I feel the same, Saline. 
I will fight by your side from now on. Together, we will protect that which you hold dear. Thank you. With Selica's help, I ought to be able to reach Chloe and Louis more quickly. Please grant me your strength. I feel a great power within. We have united, haven't we? My resolve is strong. I will protect my people. I will protect everyone. I am resolved to fight for peace. Hold on, you two. I am on my way. Let us be off. You were beautiful while you lasted. What a lovely scene. I can fight. I'm all set. Houses are ripe for the picking. Time for a good old fashioned village pillage. The crystal, it's glowing. Where did you get that? It was in the ring vault. Vander found it after the battle at Lethos Castle. Why? Do you know what this is? A draconic time crystal. An artifact capable of reversing time itself. There is a limit to its power, but still, it could give us a keen advantage. Time crystal, huh? So it's not just a pretty piece of jewelry. Since we have it, I suggest we put it to use. Give it a try.
What's that? Monsters here? Gosh, all, thanks for letting me know. Take this. Might come in useful. Divine Dragon. I will do what I must. Let's be careful. Second steward of the dragon. deserves. Stop! 
We're losing ground, are we? Well, that's easily remedied. Release the corrupted! A right and proper end. use in this state. I'd better head to the rear lines to rest. Thank you for warning me. Here, use this to bring peace to our land. I am as strong as ever.
I will defend always. I will defend always. Soon I'll be a legend. The man who captured the Princess of Pyrene. I shall slay you!
There's no need to be afraid. It's gone. You saved my life. Thank you. It was nothing, really. I only did what anyone else would do. Are you here by yourself? I am. I saw the fighting and thought I could help. You're braver than I am. I can't stand the corrupted. I was so startled I couldn't think. You really did save my life. I see. Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm the Divine Dragon. What a lovely name. I'm Vale. Vale. Might I interrupt? What is it? Even with the Corrupted gone, it may not be safe for her out here. Perhaps we should escort her home, or to an inn. That's a good idea. Hey, Vale, do you live around here? Huh? She's gone. Divine One! Saline, did you see a girl pass this way? Small, with long hair? Barefoot? No, I'm afraid I didn't see anyone matching that description. <sighs> okay, thanks. Did you need something? I wanted to thank you. Alfred told me that you accepted Firenay's request for aid. And your help in the battle was the difference between victory and defeat. Thank you. Truly. Don't mention it. Alfred and I are friends. I was happy to help. Friends? He said that? Imagine speaking so casually with the Divine Dragon. Please, allow me to apologize on his behalf. There's no need to put me on a pedestal. I just woke up, and the world is new to me. I make mistakes like anyone. Is that so? I thought surely the Divine Dragon would be an all-seeing, all-powerful being. But here I find that you are rather more... human than I expected. Perhaps we can be friends. Then what do you say, Saline? Friends? I would be honored. Oh my! Yes! Yes! Thank you so much! What? Oh! 
What? Engage! Hey, folks. Mind if we bend your ear a minute? Hmm? Name's Durton. I'm an armorer. And this here's Anis, purveyor of goods. We saw you trading thumps with those things. Figured you might be in the market for supplies. Yes. If you need, we'd be happy to provide you with quality weapons and items. Anything to defeat those creatures. They pose a terrible threat to traveling merchants like us. How would you feel about moving to our base? You can sell your wares from there. Um, <clears throat> Divine One. What? We don't have any facilities. These two could be a good addition. Uh, you're gonna let us open shops at your base? If you'd like to. We'll need plenty of weapons and items from here on out. It's a haven. You won't find any creatures there. You got yourself a bargain. Ah, can't wait to do business together. Thank you for this. I will do my utmost to ensure you receive the finest items. Thank you. 
<laughs> if I may. It's like this. Thank you.
Make it nice and shiny. Much better. I hope you'll clean it well. Thanks for always taking such good care of the ring.
Okay. There's the castle. It's so quiet. Where are our knights? Or the Illusion soldiers, for that matter? You said they were marching toward the castle when you left. They've probably made their way inside. But then, what of the townsfolk? What of Mother? Let's hurry. <laughs> hey. 
hate to break it to you, Queenie, but our forces have taken the castle. This is the part where you tell me where you've got the ring stashed in here. Who's to say? Is it inside the castle? Out on the grounds? I'm asking all polite-like. Come on! <laughs> I'm not in the habit of speaking to lowly vermin. That's all that you are, the lot of you. The mouth on this one. You think I won't get you where you stand? <sighs> I'd recommend against it, darling. Lady Zephyr! After all, Her Majesty can't tell us much of value if she's dead. Now, I come bearing news. One of our soldiers said he spotted the princess fleeing before we arrived. How curious. Did you perhaps give that daughter of yours the ring for safekeeping? Well, isn't this tragic? We'd simply hate to resort to violence. You leave us no choice. By virtue of your silence, we will now kill every living soul in this castle one by one. <sighs> Please, no! Mother! Mother, we're here! Alfred, Celine. Oh, look. The kids are home. You illusion scum! Get away from her! <laughs> Who's going to make us? I'm glad you've come. Now we can see for ourselves if the princess has the ring. No! Please, leave my children alone. Of course. As long as you tell me where the ring is. I... Ah. Young Saline does have it, doesn't she? We'll have to kill her then. The prince too, for good measure. Take her majesty away. We'll continue our conversation later if need be. Unhand me! Mother! Let her go! All right, enough with the dramatics. Huh? You... You look familiar. No, it couldn't be. Who are you? I am the Divine Dragon. Such lies. Lumera is the last of her kind. Shows what you know. The Divine One was asleep for a thousand years. Really? When did that beastly woman have a child? <laughs> Very well. Perhaps you can tell me what happened to dear Lumera then. I've been so worried about her since that awful battle at Letho's castle. How do you know about that? How indeed? You stole the rings? You killed my mother? She died? Oh, that poor dear. <laughs> Murderer. I will avenge her. Why, I didn't kill her. I will say your coming here was quite helpful. Assuming you are the beast's offspring. Because that means you have them, don't you? The rings of the Hero King and the Holy Knight. You'll never take them. Never. You were after our ring. I won't waste my breath on explanations, but I will tell you this. The Kingdom of Illusia has freed Lord Zombron from his imprisonment. The Fell Dragon has returned? No. Of course, even we couldn't have accounted for... you. His return must have awoken you. Show a little gratitude. You're wrong. I awoke because of my mother. Because she waited for me. All these years. A touching tale, I'm sure. Now, if you'll excuse me. Wait! What can we do? To start, we defeat these soldiers and take back the castle. I'm not going to let them hurt Queen Ev, or anyone else. Get the rings. No prisoners. 
I was hoping you'd say that. The door's locked. What should we do? There's no time to find the key. Let's use brute force to knock it down. I'm listening. I am ready to serve. For you, anything. Yes, here. Whatever you say. Your steward's ready. This is the mission of the stewards. What's next? My will is firm. Please grant me your strength. Your orders, please. All right.
Ooh, the castle's under siege. Mighty fine time to nab some treasure. Thieves? Here? Now? That's the last thing we need. <laughs> We'd better stop them. Is it go time? Simple enough. Big help. For the Divine Dragon. I hope you find peace.
Say the word. I'm sorry. Forget your loss. All flowers eventually wilt. Forget your loss. train for. Apologies.
you. Pretty weak. This is the mission of the stewards. It looks like we can break that wall. We could catch the enemy by surprise if we do that. Engage! For the Divine Dragon. Is that sufficient? Yeah! 
That helps. My apologies. <laughs> All flowers eventually wilt. Dragon. Let's be careful. Was that sufficient? Feeling better. Looky here, the runaway princess. I'll make you fly the coop again. I am not running this time. It will be you who flees for your life. I will not forget your loss. <laughs> that all you got? This one's a tough opponent. He can keep on fighting even after taking a fatal blow.
Dream well. My hero! My apologies. Rings of yours are gonna be mine, mine, mine! Reward, here I come! Here! <laughs> 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 Alfred, Mother is in the back room. She's okay. Oh, that's a relief. Thank you, all of you, for rescuing me. My children, you're safe. What a relief. We have a guest, Mother. Someone came all the way from Lethos to see you. The Divine Dragon? Queen Ev, it's an honor to meet you. I'm so glad that you're all right. I've come here by invitation of Prince Alfred. Just look at you, awake at long last. I am Ev, the Queen of Firene. It is my absolute pleasure to welcome you. The Divine Dragon has come to help our country, Mother. We were just in time to rescue Saline. And get this, the Divine One summoned Emblem Celica from our ring. A legendary emblem. Oh my, how extraordinary. Thank you sincerely. You have my deepest gratitude. My family is safe because of you. You are blessed with the same powers as your mother. How is Queen Lumera? Well, she's... she's gone. My mother passed away. No! That's awful. I'm so sorry. Some intruders entered the castle. They tried to kill me, but she gave her life to protect mine. Oh. How tragic. I'm glad that... that I could spare your children the pain of losing their mother. <sighs> My heart goes out to you. Forgive me. We've only just met, and here I am, laying my grief at your feet. I just wish I could have saved her too. Divine One, while I cannot take away your sorrow, perhaps I can help you bear it. Reunite with her and then lose her so soon. I can only imagine how painful that was. For now, allow yourself to grieve, knowing that I grieve with you. Thank you, Queen Ev. Your warmth, your kindness. It's almost like she's here with me. How are you feeling? Better. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. No, we shouldn't have dragged you into all this... right now. I'm sorry, Divine One. As am I. But if I hadn't left when I did, what might have happened to you, Saline? 
Or you, Queen Ev. I'm proud to serve people in need. Like my mother did. Thank you. Now, the Illusion leader. She said her kingdom released the Fell Dragon. I take it that's why the Corrupted are appearing in Elios again. Now there's no question that the Fell Dragon's after the rings. Which means we need to hurry. Head them off before they can reach the next one. Queen Ev, your country's ring. May I take it? Of course. The Kingdom of Firene gives it with love, trust, and gratitude. Thank you very much. There is something you should know, however. My kingdom has another emblem ring in its possession. What? Since when? There is another ring? Here in Firene? It was kept secret to avoid conflict. For generations, knowledge of this ring has been confined to the monarchs of Firene. However, now that the Fell Dragon has arisen, it is best to dispel the Shroud of Secrecy. It is commonly thought that the Divine Dragon gave one ring to each country's leader. However, Firene received a second. The Ring of the Dawn Maiden. I see. To ensure that no one would find it, the ring was hidden away far from the castle. It rests in a shrine on the Brodian border. Oh, I remember those old ruins. What? You do? Yeah. Mother took me there after father died. She told me to keep the location in mind. At the time, I didn't know why. Now it makes sense. I was preparing you for the day you became king. I'll take everyone to the shrine. From there, I can continue on with the Divine Dragon. So, you are leaving, Alfred? Yes. I want to do my part to end this war. With your blessing, Mother, I'm going to help the Divine Dragon bring peace to Elios. Mother, I would like to join as well. Alfred. Saline. You have my blessing. I know you will serve the Divine Dragon with honor. On one condition. Swear to me that you will come back alive. I swear it. I swear it. Thank you very much, Queen Ev. I trust that you will take some time to rest prior to your departure. The journey ahead will be arduous, but know that you are all in my prayers. May good fortune shine upon you. <laughs> Divine One. Hmm. Um. Yes. Divine One. Thanks. Uh. Yes. Hi. Yes. Okay. Divine one. Yes. Hey there. You're the divine dragon, right? Got a second to talk? Who might you be? 
Me? I'm a blacksmith. You can call me Kelne. And I am Pinay, a clothier. Pleased to meet you. I'll cut right to it. Our friend Durton wrote us and said he opened a shop at your base. And, well, he'd like to go there too. We'll be a real help. I can strengthen your weapons. My clothes and accessories won't win you any battles, but they will catch eyes and turn heads. If Durton vouches for you, that's good enough for me. Please, come along to the Somniel. Really? That's great. You'll be glad to have us around, I promise. Indeed. Thank you, Divine One. <laughs> okay. I think I lost him. <laughs> really? You sure about that, darling? <laughs> You're shaking like a leaf. I take it you failed to obtain the ring. Uh, uh, apologies, ma'am. Those guys were tougher than they looked. But I... I can tell you things. Stuff that'll help you track it down. Like the fact that Princess Saline ran off with it. The Divine Dragon has it now. Pretty good info, right? <laughs> hmm. What do you say? How about we call it even this time around? <laughs> I won't let you down again. Oh. How naive you are. After you fail me once, there is no second chance. No! Please don't kill me! Please don't kill me! <laughs> I am sorry, my lady. Apologies for the mess. And our failure to acquire the ring. I was expecting to get at least one. At least now we know that Lumera is dead. Yes, but there's another divine dragon to take her place. I can't believe that Beast had a child. It does explain why she was so willing to sacrifice her life. What should we do? The battle at Lethos Castle took its toll. We're in no shape for another confrontation. We'd best lie low for a spell. Leave them be, for now. Understood.
Are you a professional? Are you a professional? I hope you'll clean it well. Thanks for always taking such good care of the ring. Make it nice and sharp, thank you. The ring looks amazing. Oh my! What in the world is this creature? Ah, so you have found it at last. Vander, what do you know about this little one? Not much, unfortunately. It began to appear shortly before you awoke from your slumber. Queen Lumera once said it is something of a guardian spirit for the Somniel. Claimed to have played with it in her youth. She did? So... This creature has been alive for a very long time. You know, I do feel a sort of affinity toward it. It seems to have taken a liking to you as well, Divine One. Would it please you to care for it? If it is truly the guardian spirit of the Somniel, doing so may bring some manner of benefit. What a great idea! Now that I've met it, I'd like us to be friends. Let's see. I'll call you... Yes, I like that name. It's nice to meet you. I hope you like your new name. It looks well pleased. Don't forget to say hello to it when next you see it around.
Indeed. Very nice. What'll it be? Do you want to go? Keep it up. Nice. Keep it up. Nice. Keep it up. Looking good. Nice. Keep it up. You've got this. Looking good. You've got this. Nice. Keep it up. Great job! I'm so proud! Let's do this again sometime. Distracting me. Oops. Sorry, sorry. See, I'm here in my capacity as a president of the Divine Dragon Fan Club. I have a fan club? Yep. Our mission is to support you. That's why I'm here giving you extra motivation. Huh. Thanks for cheering me on. But could you maybe not do it so close? You bet. I can stand back a little. Three, two, one! Who's our favorite dragon? You! You! Y O U! <sighs> that didn't help.
<laughs> um. Divine One, what are you doing? Oh, hello, clan. I was just tidying up a bit. Tomorrow's a busy day, so I thought I'd get it out of the way now. Well, let me take care of that. You should get some rest. That's all right. I can handle it. No, no, that won't do. I'm gonna have to insist. But... Please. You know, I waited a long time for you to wake up. And not just me. The stewards before me spent their whole lives waiting. Now, after a thousand years, I get to serve you. It's like a miracle. So, please, let me do it. Honestly, truly, I would be honored to help. <laughs> Very well. You've convinced me. I'll leave it to you. Thank you, Divine One. <laughs> I should be thanking you for taking such great care of me. I'm very lucky to have you as a steward. You mean it? Oh, man, I'm so happy I can faint! <laughs> Please don't. Now that I'm free from tidying up, I'm going to get some rest. These pills ought to clear up the problem. Let me know if the pain persists, okay? And you're looking chipper today. I told you that cold would be gone before you know it. Father, isn't it time you took a break? Look, I made you some tea. Thank you, John. You didn't burn yourself or anything preparing it, I hope. You worry too much. I'm old enough to manage a simple pot of tea, I assure you. <laughs> it makes me happy to see you growing up so fine. Huh? What's going on out there? Doctor, you have to help us. Monsters are on the attack and people are getting hurt. What the devil are those beasts? This will get ugly. Sean, go and hide. I'll take care of bringing people to the clinic. This way, everyone. If you're unhurt, then assist someone who is injured. You must pull together. I know father told me to hide, but how can I? I have to do my part, too. Oh, no. Get moving! There's shelter at the clinic! Keep your wits about you, everyone! I'll patch you up once the crisis has passed! We can't stand idle with the corrupted on the loose! Let's save those villagers! Are you alright? Get to safety and leave the corrupted to us! You don't have to tell me twice, but there's still a few left who didn't make it out in time. We'll do everything in our power to save as many of them as we can. They'll love you for it if you do. You're their last hope at this point.
There are so many wounded we couldn't get to the clinic. Is it up to me to treat them all? Father, I'm here to help. If we split up, we can treat everyone. John! I thought I told you to run and hide! I can't stay hidden away when there are so many who need my help. After all, Father, am I not your son? You taught me that a doctor does whatever is needed. My lessons have sunk in, I see. Very well, then. Come and give me a hand. What a lovely scene. And they lived happily ever after. I'm ready. Whatever you say. Point the way again. I am ready to serve. I've got this. You called? Second steward of the dragon. Don't know how much you shall get out of this, but every little bit helps, right? This is the mission of the stewards. Engage! Ah! 
good fight. Is it over? not safe here. You should be running. I can't. I'm the local doctor's son. I won't leave until I've helped the injured. Huh. You've got a lot of heart for a kid your age. All right? Let's join forces and save those villagers. I really appreciate the help. My name's John. Now come on. There's work to do. Second steward of the dragon. checking in on me. Do you think you could use this? There's not much I can do with it, at any rate. Better it should go to a soldier like yourself. Sounds perfect.
impossible. All the monsters are gone. We're saved! And it's thanks to the lot of you. I'm glad no one got hurt. I was a little worried there. You can't know what this means to us. We decided to give you this to show our thanks. Come now, Zhang. Give the nice people a proper thank you. Oh, right. Thank you for saving our village. We saved it together. You did well today, Zhang. Oh, I introduced myself to you, but I never asked your name, did I? Well, there was a lot going on. I'm the Divine Dragon. The Divine Dragon? From the Land of Lethos? Oh, please forgive my rudeness. Don't mention it. Like I said, there was a lot going on at the time. What brings such a splendid personage to our humble village? I've been on a journey to defeat the Fell Dragon and bring peace to the world. The whole world? Wow. If it's all right with you, Divine One, can I come along and help? <gasps> Strong! What's got an end to you? My dream has always been to become a doctor so I can save people. And that hasn't changed. But with monsters running rampant, I might die before I can do that. Look what just happened. At the Divine Dragon's side, I think I can learn to fight and to heal people at the same time. Well, oh, that's all very well for you. But what about the Divine Dragon? You'd just be a burden. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Not if what he did during that battle is anything to go by. If Jean wants to come, I don't mind. Though, I understand why you'd be worried. Well, if he has your permission, then... I can only ask that you take good care of my boy. What? You're actually allowing him to go? Father, I told you, you don't need to worry about me. It's not like I'm never coming home. In fact, when I do return, I'll be a first-rate doctor. You'll see. How quickly they grow up. Of course, Sean. Be a good boy, a hard worker, and an attentive student. And come home safe. I will. Thank you, both of you. I can't wait to start working alongside the Divine Dragon. The feeling is mutual, Sean. I have a hunch that I'll be leaning on you a lot in the days to come. Thank you. May I ask? <sighs> what? Hmm. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. Indeed. Here you are. 